hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Sydney Morgan if you are new here make sure you hit the like button you subscribe so you know when I come out with new videos and leave a comment below let me know what you think the case that I have for you today is about a 15 year old boy named Lissandro Guzman but everybody called him junior so in this video that's what I'll be calling him. Junior was born on November 11th, 2002 in the Bronx, New York. But his family was originally from the Dominican Republic. He was a sophomore at a health and science charter school. But what Junior really wanted to do was he wanted to become a police detective for the NYPD. So he actually attended the NYPD Explorers program so that he could get like a, a head start on his police career. And this program was filled with a whole bunch of kids who wanted to become police officers so that they could make a difference in, in New York and they could move up in their career and become detectives one day. Sadly, Junior would never get to become a police detective because on June 20th of 2018, around 10 p.m., Junior left his apartment to go to see a friend. So he goes to his friend's house, and when he finishes up there, he notices that there are four vehicles, super suspicious vehicles, lights on, and he gets really nervous and suspicious of these vehicles. So he starts walking, and then he realizes that they actually are following him. So he starts running. So Junior is running down the street. He's running as fast as he possibly can. And then he comes up on a corner bodega. And he goes inside, and the owner is behind the counter, and he's Junior's trying to jump over the counter. He's trying to jump over the counter saying, like, you need to hide me. Let me hide back here because there's a bunch of people after me. And this bodega owner was like, what the hell's going on? He didn't know what Junior's intentions were. He didn't realize what was going on. So he was he was kind of trying to push him back. And Junior did get over the counter and he said, you got to hide me. You have to hide me. There's There's guys after me. I don't know what's going on. And the owner was refusing to help Junior until he realized the, the fear in his face. His, his face said it all. This boy was terrified. He was only 15 years old. So he said, yes, go ahead, hide down here. But unfortunately, five gang members came into the bodega and they found him. So they started trying to pull Junior out from behind the counter. I heard in some reports that one of the five gang members that came in to grab Junior actually recognized him from a party that his him and his sister went to. So one of the guys actually knew that he was not one of the rival gang members that they were after. All these gang members that were in these cars that spotted Junior, they thought that he was a member of a rival gang. So that's why they were chasing him. But you would think that when this one gang member realized that that was Junior and not a member of a rival gang, that he would have notified somebody and said, hey, this isn't the kid, he's not part of this gang, let's get out of here. Did he do that? No, he didn't. He did walk out of the bodega, but the remaining four gang members pulled him out of the store. And Junior was terrified. He was grabbing on to anything and everything that he possibly could, telling these guys, I, I, you, I'm not who you think I am. I'm not part of this gang. You got the wrong person. So these gang members get Junior outside of the corner bodega and they start assaulting him. They start beating him. And one of the guys walks up with a machete and starts hacking away at Junior's torso and legs. Then another one comes up and starts stabbing him repeatedly. And then the guy that recognized him to not be a gang member comes up and he tries to get his get his way in there and assault him as well, but he ends up backing off and, 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 and leaving. So Junior finally gets free of all of these guys. He actually goes back into the store. Once he gets inside of the store, 
the owner is is on the phone with with the police and he's trying to tell junior that he's notifying the police and he's kind of still trying to shoo him out of the store a little bit but that's what people thought i mean it's really up in the air of what was going on because on security cameras they caught the owner doing this while he was on the phone and he claims that he was telling him there's a hospital one block down the road so we'll go with that story we'll let's say that the the owner was you know being nice and trying to tell him go to the hospital go to the hospital so junior bleeding all over the place somebody had stabbed him in the neck. they they slashed his whole body up he goes outside and he kinda takes a breather for a minute and then he realizes that it's not good the situation that he is in is is not good and potentially deadly so he starts running down to the hospital that's the at the end of the road and one of the scariest parts about this whole thing is that all of it was actually captured on camera there were so many security cameras in that bodega filming everything that happened inside and outside and there were actually people that lived in the apartments above the store that were also filming what happened so when junior started running down the road he was captured by more and more and more cameras all of this was on camera I've watched the videos and I'm not a very emotional person when it comes to certain things but I literally cried watching these videos like it is so freaking sad so as junior walks up to the hospital he notices that out front there is a security booth and he reaches a security booth and he sits down and unfortunately that's where he loses so much blood that he falls over and that's his, that's where he passed away and by this time all those gang members it turns out that there was like 14 or 15 of them in those vehicles that were chasing him they all fled they were gone but junior's sister's boyfriend who was a gang leader that led these men stated online that he was sorry for what happened and that it was legit a case of mistaken identity what had started all this was there was a sex tape that was made of this gang leaders niece and the person who they thought was junior but it turns out that that was just a prank it, the sex tape wasn't even a real thing so they pretty much put a hit out on this guy who was doing the prank in the sex tape and it turns out that it wasn't even junior so this gang leader goes online and he starts apologizing to junior's family saying how sorry he was that it wasn't it wasn't meant to be for him and he claims that he kicked all those gang members out of the gang for mistaking this 15 year old junior for the actual person who faked the uh, sex tape with his niece but the guy who was in the video they said was a member of a rival gang so they it was just a whole I would assume he said she said kind of thing and it just got twisted until they went out for blood and found junior because he looked like the guy so after all these videos air online on the news they're put everywhere and they're horrifying absolutely horrifying 14 of these gang members were arrested and as of now five of them have already been sentenced to life the family of junior are really big presence online to push to stop gang violence they actually use the hashtag justice for junior from what I've heard they're doing everything that they can to stop gang violence in New York but I live in Ohio and this made its way all the way here to Ohio like this these videos this case went national it was huge I feel so terrible for this poor boy because if you watch those videos and they are out there um, I'll include some screenshots but I'm not I'm not putting the videos in there they're absolutely horrifying horrible 
This poor kid, he's 15, and he's he wants to go to school to become a detective so that he can get people like this off the street, and before he can even get there, they chop him up. It's so horrible, so freaking horrible. But thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. Like I said, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, you subscribe, and in the comments, let me know what you think of this case, and I will see you guys later. Bye.